We've been talking a lot about the negativity inside Diablo Mortal, the things that are making the game struggle for many players. And today, well, I have another element of that struggle that I want to share with you. Now, this all comes in form of an anonymous commenter, someone that didn't want to be known, and that has completely fueled today's video. And I think we should start some things out here today by sharing with you a voice clip of their thoughts regarding this issue. So here, let's take a minute and listen to this voiceover really carefully and then break it down. My answer to what is the problem with Diablo Immortal, it's, it's pretty easy. You know, if, if I look at the game, it's simply that it limits the grind, you know, having all these soft caps and penalties. You know, I'm aware of some of the reasons why they do that, but it basically stops people from doing what they love the most with an ARPG game. For example, limiting normal gem drops, you know, you need 20,000 of them to max a single one. And, you know, limiting that is completely unnecessary. Another example is, you know, whenever you grind so hard and you have these random zone events, you know, you get salvage material from the chest. Yeah, at some point, it spits up nothing. It's an empty chest that opens in front of your eyes and you get nothing, nada. So where's the fun in that? You know, I mean, you keep grinding a game and eventually get zero return. All right, so let's break this down in two different ways. The first way is the empty chest where you can only get so much. That's what we're going to discuss first. And then I'm going to go in depth about the gems that he discussed. So let's talk about it in forms of Heliquary, let's say. You can do your Heliquary with your Warband twice per week and get five rewards. If you do five Heliquaries, you'll get those bonus chests and you'll get a whole bunch of rewards and you'll get your regular rewards and it's extremely rewarding. But if you do a sixth one, you get those chests and there's absolutely nothing inside of them. Why would you do it if there's absolutely no reward besides trying to help others or just trying to do it for fun with the community, but why hold back the rewards? And these caps that he's that this anonymous speaker is talking about the whole time, it doesn't make sense to me. Why are these caps in place? I don't know what the purpose is. Is it so that the free-to-play players are gonna have the ability to catch up, but that really does then limit the grinders, whether they're free to play grinders or whether they are whale grinders, it's limiting players that are diehards of the genre. Action RPGs are all about diehards who love to grind just to find that like next piece of gear they've been looking for for so long. Now, I have four pages of comments. Uh, we're going to go into let's let's just dive into the first one right here. The first comment here is you lose your joy for playing Diablo Immortal because you consistently hit a wall of sorts that prevents you from receiving your dopamine. If you don't know what dopamine is, that's the pleasure center in your brain. It brings you pleasure, right? So it's the thing that's going to make you keep coming back. We talked about this in earlier videos this week where I spoke of there's just nothing that's making you addicted or filling that dopamine fill inside of the game for us that we see in other mobile games. They actively take it away unless you pay for it via legendary gem chest drops. So they get you to a level where you're getting rewards, you're getting those great rewards where it makes you feel good, and then they take it away, they stop it, and the only way that you can continue to get it is to pay money. And to me, that's not cool. That's not okay. I, I don't now. I think there's a lot of issues going on here. A lot of things that we've been broke breaking down over the past few days. Because if you don't know, I've kind of been breaking down the issues with Diablo Immortal every single day. And I have two more interviews coming out in the following two days from this video already recorded discussing problems with the game. You're going to want to be there and make sure that you check those out as well. Let's get into the second comment right here. And this one says, and also there's a 500 item limit per day from the marketplace. So you could only buy 500 things from the marketplace. Now for me, maybe for you, you're like 500 things. That's a ton of things. But to the whales that are trying to get everything that they can, this throws a limit. So it says, if you only buy rank ones, and he's talking about regular gems, the gems that goes in your secondary gear, right? It'll take whales at least 40 days to buy all if there was an unlimited supply. Now, there's a few things here. One, whales are going to be the ones buying them. Two, it takes 40 days to buy all of them at rank one if 
there is an unlimited supply, which we already know there is not an unlimited supply. Only ones that are being put up there are ones that are being farmed or sold from your own backpack. And there's not going to be that many inside of the game. So it's really not realistic to be able to get that much that quickly, but 40 days. And that is just for one single rank 10 gem. One moment. So the question comes to one single max level gem, one single rank 10 gem. Now we have our, our set pieces of gear. There are six of them, no? And they don't all just hold one gem now, do they? So this brings in some math and we have it broken down right here. So now there are a total of 19,683 gems that you will need to rank up everything to rank 10 max level. Let's break this down and let's do it in a free to play player's way. You would need 19,683 gems. You could farm 18 gems per day, 365 days in a year, all right? Three years of collecting 18 gems per day and it's unfortunate that it won't just be a single type that you need. So you're literally getting like the random types of gems. It would take three years to collect that many. How many normal gem slots do we have? Oh, well, interesting. There are four slots that can have up to three sockets. So let's say there are three sockets that will be 12 different gems and then two slots, your rings with one socket. So this comes out to being 14 different gems that you would then need to grind up to level to level 10. So with the current imposed limit of 18 gems per day, we're looking at 41 to 42 years approximately of grinding. 40, let's just say 40 years of grinding if you're just going to get them from farming and not buying any from the shop, not buying anything with any platinum, just farming 40 years. If you only farm them from being in a party and hidden lair, not including bonuses from the events, because I believe that hidden, oh yeah, hidden lairs, you get them as well. You just don't get the ones that you could sell. So 18 per day is that limit to rank all your slots up to rank 10. Now, I'm all for grind. I like grind. I've always liked it in my gaming, whether it's grinding walls in Clash of Clans or grinding gear in Diablo, it's similar type of play, right? You're grinding with something that may not be your favorite thing to do, but you're putting the work in because you want to get to a certain point. 40 years is too much. It's, it's too much by 40. It, it, it should not be that much. Like it's, it, it's insane that it's not realistic. The game's not going to be here in 40 years. So it's an unrealistic amount of time that it would take for you to get to a place that a whale would be by purchasing them, which whales can't even do by purchasing them because there's not going to be enough in the shops for them to purchase. It's literally not going to be there as we were. I think it was in this second slide right here. There would be a 500 limit. It would take 40 days to do one of those slots. And there are 14 different slots. So 40 times 14. What is that? I, I could do quick math, but I want to be accurate math. So if we do 40 times 14, it equals 560 days for a whale to buy their max amount every single day, assuming the max amount was there every single day. It would take them 500 and whatever that was days I said. Now, what was it? 560 days. Oh, like a year and a half plus. And since the gems are not available like that, you wouldn't be able to have enough. It wouldn't even be realistic of a number. But now let's break it down even more because it takes 19,683 gems to get a single rank 10 gem. 20,000 gems almost. But wait, you're like, oh, that's all free. I can just grind that. I can just grind it for 41 years and I'll get it. I'll get there. I'll, I'll be there one day. Well, the process will also consume... 531 echo crystals don't they cost 500 platinum a piece yeah so it's going to cost you quite a bit of platinum as well which is not free unless if you are taking your gems and selling them or selling your crests or uh, not your crests, selling your charms and things like that at a max at max at at max price this will cost you eight million one hundred and thirty eight thousand seven hundred platinum 
if sourced entirely from the marketplace. That means no farming it. That means just buying it from the marketplace. Well, A over here says, I want to buy all of it. I don't want to farm any of it. It's all available in my marketplace because absolutely no one in this server buys anything and everyone in the server max farms and sells everything. So it's all available to me, the one whale that wants it. I'm clearly being sarcastic here. It would cost 8 million platinum. which is a premium currency that you can actually buy. I mean, it's not the premium. Orbs are the premium currency, but you could buy platinum as well because you can't you can't farm that much platinum. I'm sorry. Now, how much for one rank 10 normal gem at 400 platinum? So this is kind of, this is the scale of how he figured it. He assumed that it cost about 400 platinum per tourmaline gem, which is about right. I think in my server, the last I sold, it was like 391 or something close to that. So uh, very close there. We could say it would cost you just to just to round it out and to be generous, 8 million platinum. That's insane, these numbers. So I think what we're looking at here is we're looking at something that is just unattainable through grind, the gems. Now, we do have changes coming to the gems and they're going to have different attributes that are going to kind of modify your build and stuff. Uh, me and DM spoke about it on his channel the other day and said, but what if those are all completely new gems and you need to farm brand new gems? And I, I don't think that's the case. Man, if that's the case, that would be really bad news. But we have an unattainable feat in front of us unless if we spend money. But even if you spend money as whales, you can't get there because there are whales that have maxed out resonance from maxing out all of their legendary gems, but they still can't get enough of the set item gems, your normal gems to max out those builds. There are not enough on the servers. There are not enough being sold. There are not enough being farmed because of caps that are in place. Is this a problem that you see inside of Diablo Immortal amongst all the other problems that I've recently brought up in this past week? I want you to let me know what you think in the comments section below. And lately I've been doing some really big highlights of amazing comments coming from all of you. And one of them I think actually comes out tomorrow. So make sure you watch that one and sub to the channel so you don't miss it. That'd be good.